Welcome back to the Art of Crochet blog and this is square number 49 and we have got this lovely uh, lime green yarn this week but we're going to mix it with the turquoise and the teal and the mauve and the purple um, to make a humdinger of a square and we start off with the turquoise here it is and as ever I'm one step ahead and I've done um, six chains and joined them with a slip stitch, uh, a four chain standing chain there and a double treble. Now we are going to make two double treble clusters. So concentrate because uh, it can get tricky. So start off uh, by working out which hand is which. <laughs> okay, right, one chain and then a double treble cluster so round the hook twice and do the first two parts of the stitch and then make another double treble and do the same again and then go through all three it's that easy so it's uh, as very similar isn't it to the one we did before so a chain in between each double treble cluster so the first two parts of the stitch and again and then through all three in a chain. So we need to do that 11 times all the way around. So keep on going. It, here we are at the end of that first round and it was quite hard to uh, fit all the double treble clusters into the ring but we made it and now we're going to rejoin um, or join up some mauve yarn so fastening off the turquoise and into one of these spaces I'm going to join the mauve yarn uh, and we start off with three chains and one treble into that space and basically there are two trebles in each space all the way round so you want to do a chain in between each one I'm going to, holding that end at the back so into the next space we'll do two trebles and then a space chain rather Uh, and keep going round so into that next space there so for round three we're joining the lime green yarn and we start off with a four chain and two treble into one of these chain spaces and this is the part where we start making the square shaping. So for the next two gaps, we've got three treble in each one. And then for the corner, we do two treble and a double treble. Oh, there we are two treble, one double treble to give us a bit of height for our corner, one, two, three, then two chains and we reverse the shaping so we've got a double treble and then another two trebles. Okay. So you repeat that all the way around, so, um, oh look, I've only done two treble in there, I'll have to go back and fix that, but um, you won't make that mistake. So here we are, three trebles, should be three trebles, then three treble and um, two trebles, a double treble, the chain and reversed. Okay, so here we are at the beginning of the fourth round and I've joined the teal. 
and this round is all about half trebles and they are we yarn over through that corner space until you have three on the hook and then pull through all three that's a half treble and I've done two chain and two half trebles there and now I'm going to do uh, three half trebles in each of the next three spaces so skip those three trebles from the previous row and go into there there and there okay so um, yarn over and lean right it doesn't look like it's going to work but it will so you lean right over there one two three and see it just stretches and it's fine that's because you've got three they do that splaying out thing so uh, three into there and then we'll do it. So here we've done three half trebles in each of those spaces and then in the corner space I've done another three half trebles and then we do two chain and another three half treble. I think you may be beginning to get the idea here. It's all about groups of three trebles. One, two, three. So keep going uh, all the way round. And that's round four. So here we are at round five and I've joined the purple yarn and I've done one chain and one DC and we're going to do one double crochet in each of those stitches along the top there and there should be 15 um, and I counted mine and it means the first one of course is this one here and I've got my um, tail end behind the back there so so then we're going to start off down here with a simple row of double crochet just to neaten off the square. So uh, when you get to a corner you do one double crochet and then two chain and another one there. It's that simple. And then kick off again down the row. Um, and don't forget to go into that first stitch that looks like it's part of the corner, but it isn't. Uh, and 15, double crochet down the side. Oh, and here's square 49 and the sun's come out. So uh, I'm not sure that you can see what I've done, but there you go. And don't forget to label it.